find the volume of a box that is 20 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters deep this way and then 12 centimeters tall. We are given the three dimensions, okay? So all we need to do is multiply. Yes, so this is an easy problem. You can imagine in your mind little cubic centimeters, little cubes, okay? That would be 20 times 10 in the bottom row and then 12 layers high, okay? And let's write it this way. V for volume equals these three dimensions, 20 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 12 centimeters. Okay, I can do that with mental math. It's pretty easy. There's 2 times 1 times 12, and then I tag on two zeros. So I will get 24, then 0, 0. So 2,400, and then the unit. Notice, I need cubic centimeters as the unit. In this problem, we're going to find the total volume of this figure, and it consists of two rectangular prisms, or two boxes, so to speak. Maybe it is a building. And to find the total volume, I can think of it as two different boxes, and find the volume of this box, find the volume of this one, and add in the end, right? So let me number. This is one, this is part two, part one, part two. And then here I can write volume of the part one. And for that, I will multiply, once again, the three dimensions. It's 20 feet. And then there is the height, 18. And then the depth, this one here, or this one here. It is the same as here, 20 feet. Okay. Now, 2 times 18 is 36. Times 2 is 72. And 0 and 0. And the answer is in cubic feet. And then the second one, this one here has 20 feet times 20 feet times 10. So there's 4, 0, 0, 0, 4,000. All right, and that makes sense. This is smaller than that. And then adding them together, tot total, would be 11,200 cubic feet. Now this pictures a room and then the floor is shaded. It says the floor is 12 square meters, okay? Notice, square meters here. That means the area of this floor is 12 square meters. The volume is 30 cubic meters. What is the height? It is asking for this. This is the unknown. The height of the room. And we know the area here. Notice we are not told the width and the depth of the room. There could be 6 and 2 meters or 4 and 3 meters, whatever. But we don't need to know that. We know the volume. And now you need to keep in mind that the volume is calculated by multiplying the three dimensions. This times this times the height would give us 30 cubic meters. Now this times this is the area, okay? So this times this is 12 square meters. So therefore, we can think of it this way. The volume, in this case, is actually the area of the bottom times the height. Okay, the area of the bottom times height, which is 12 square meters times the height that we don't know, and then that is 30 cubic meters. So over here, we have a simple equation that we can solve with one unknown. What number would fit there? Now I can think that, okay, 12 times 2 is not enough. It's 24. 12 times 3 would be 36. That's too much. But 30 is right in the middle of 24 and 36, right? So therefore, the number that goes there is actually right in the middle of halfway between 2 and 3. So it is 2 and a half. I'll write it here. The height is 2 and a half meters.
All right. We're all done with this list.